Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mark here with devslopes.com. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should not become a full stack developer if you are a beginner. This thing keeps happening to me every single day. I do live streams, I interact with students, people learning to code, and they all say, Mark, I wanna become a full stack developer. Where can I do that? But I don't really think they know what that means. So first let's talk about what a full stack developer is. And I'm gonna make it really simple for you. It's only one explanation. A full stack developer is somebody who builds the front end of an application. That's the user interface. Okay, that could be an iPhone app, it could be an Android app, or it could be a website, okay? A front end web app or mobile app. And then the full stack developer also builds the back end. And let's be specific about what the back end is. The back end is simply building the APIs, okay, the RESTful APIs, so your front end can communicate with them. Uh, and then any code related with that, uh, in addition to interfacing with the database, storing the actual data uh, on a server. That's what backend development does. So it's, it's two different spectrums. Here's the problem. People think that they're going to make more money as a full stack developer. And so they need to learn full stack development, but that's not how it works. Nobody, let me repeat this. Nobody hires junior full stack developers. Nobody. If you're brand new and becoming a programmer, don't become a full stack developer because no one's going to hire you for that. You may say, well, Mark, it's good though. It's good to learn the back end, right? Well, yeah, but not before you know the front end is not going to help you at all. And it's bad because all of these boot camps are teaching full stack development. They teach you front and web development and then they go and teach you Ruby on Rails or they teach you Python and Django and you, you spend all this money on this very expensive boot camp learning things that you're not going to use for your first job. Yes, it's cool to know those things, but you're not going to get a job for that. Here's the reason why big companies, they have back-end developers and front-end developers. They have two different types of developers doing the jobs. Very few companies even hire full-stack developers. And the ones that do are startups that are very, very small teams, very lean. I'm talking about limited, limited funding. You know, maybe $100,000 in funding versus a startup that might have $3 million in funding, okay? And if there's only one person on the team or two, then you might become a full stack developer because you're sprinting and racing to build the front end and the back end because you guys don't have enough money to pay all the bills for more developers, so you're doing it all. That's very uncommon and you'll never do that as a brand new person. Now I will say, if your goal is to become a freelancer, become your own boss, then be being a full stack developer is very advantageous. It's gonna help you out a lot because now you can build everything. You can build the front end and the back end and you get paid for it all, uh, which is cool. You don't have to outsource the other side of other side of the project, but, but you can't learn the back end without understanding the front end anyway. So I also want to talk about back end development. A lot of developers come to me saying, Hey, Mark, I want to learn back end development. That's, I don't care about the user interface. That's all I want to do. And I have to tell them, I'm sorry. You got to learn the front end first. Nobody hires junior developers for the back end. They just don't. Why is that? It's because you're working with important data. The code that you write is so critical as a backend developer. You could destroy people's records. You could look at their records, their security. There's so many things to consider. They're not going to hire a junior backend developer. Almost every developer who goes into the back end, they always start in the front end. So here's what I recommend that you do. You learn front end first. That could be iPhone development. That could be Android development. That could be web development. Learn those first. Get a job doing those things first. Do not spend a moment of time learning back in development unless you know you have some extra time, you're, you're mastering this stuff maybe, and you just you want to build yourself like a node server for your project. Unless you're doing something like that, don't spend any time on the back end. You need to get that job fast. And you may say, well, Mark, that's not true. I talk to recruiters and the recruiters and the jobs, they say we need someone with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Node, and PHP, and MySQL, and SQL, and Oracle, and all these things. And of course, we all know those job postings are bonkers. You're not going to do any of that stuff at all. You're going to focus either on the front end or the back end. So that's why you should, if you're brand new, you should get full stack out of your mind. Do not learn Ruby on Rails. Do not learn Python and Django. I know the boot camps are teaching it, but it's a complete waste of time because you're not going to get a job doing those things. You're just not. Also, if you go on to uh, Indeed and check out salaries, okay, check this out. A, a full stack developer makes $111,000 a year. That's pretty good, right? If you can get the job, that's probably mid-level. But check this out. A back-end developer makes $127,000 a year. Wait a minute. If I just focus on the back-end and don't do any front-end stuff, I make more money? Yeah. Nobody hires full-stack developers. Like, not really. Like, the, the startups do with the limited funding. Big companies, they want people to be disciplined in one thing. So yeah, you're going to make more money and do less work as a back-end developer. 
Of course, you can't get that job without having experience on the front end or having had some experience in programming, okay? This is why it's so critical that you, you don't divert your time and focus on what you're learning. So many students come to me and say, I'm learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and React, but then you know I'm, I'm also learning Node or Ruby on Rails. I'm like, stop, you can't take all this stuff in at the same time. And it's not even necessary. Master the front end. I promise you, this will help you out. This will help you get a job much more quickly. Once you have that first job, sure, go to town, master whatever backend framework you want. If you're a JavaScript developer, master Node. Uh, you'll, you'll move real fast building APIs. I'm a full stack developer. Uh, lots of CTOs are, people who run the, sh the show at the company. Most of them are full stack developers. They don't, they don't get paid for the full stack. They get paid being a CTO. Why is that? Because they're helping everyone on the team, on every aspect of the team. You will never do that on a job for most jobs. So don't focus on, on full stack, focus on the front end, get your first job and then learn the back end. And now if you're a freelancer or you want to be your own boss, you still got to learn the front end first, get your, get your first projects doing front end. And then when you've mastered that, then start learning the back and you can do the whole thing. Okay. So being a full stack developer is not all that it's cracked up to be. And if you do get a job doing that, you'll do more work and get paid less. And that doesn't sound that great to me. Does that sound good to you? It doesn't sound good to me. You heard it here first. Learn front end development first. This is Mark at devslopes.com. See you next time.